as part of the lecture circuit of the Arab Brazilian Chamber, attorneys Flavio Milano and Luis Felipe Centeno Ferraz from the Matos Filho Law Office spoke about double taxation and its impact on the flow of international investments. A legislação fiscal brasileira, ela traz incentivos para o investimento estrangeiro. The Brazilian tax legislation provides incentives for foreign investment in the Brazilian market. What is good about Brazil is that in some cases, we grant tax treatment that is more beneficial to foreign investors. So, for example, if a foreign investor invests through some type of equity investment fund, he can obtain an exemption in capital gains when he disposes of the investment, provided certain requirements are met. What we can see in terms of difficulties, from a tax standpoint, is the adaptation required with regard to the Brazilian legislation, which is quite complex. So when I look at the issue from a corporate taxation point of view, meaning the taxation that binds an entity to an investment, we are talking about very complex taxation. There is even a provisional measure about to be approved tomorrow in the Federal Senate that will significantly alter our legislation and add new complexities to provisions that already exist in the tax legislation and make it more severe. Já existem na legislação fiscal e que vão ser agravadas. Brazilian investments abroad can be made with countries that have treaties in order to avoid double taxation, which is precisely the topic we're discussing, or with countries that don't have treaties. When we talk about countries that have treaties to prevent double taxation, this means that the Brazilian investment will only be taxed abroad, avoiding the occurrence of double taxation here in Brazil. So I would only pay the difference here in Brazil of what was taxed out there because of the treaty. Or I may pay nothing precisely because of the treaty. And this will vary from country to country in this case. The difficulty we see today in relation to the new legislation is exactly what the treaties always prevented, double taxation. Taxation both in the foreign country and in Brazil. And these treaties will lose their significance precisely because the new rule no longer uses the prerogative of a treaty and will tax any investment agreement made in Brazil, which means that the treaty itself will be secondary and will no longer be used in this regard. This means it will no longer prevent double taxation, which is exactly what we would like to do. The legislation is still new and people are trying to understand what could be done, considering it will be approved under these terms, in order to continue preventing double taxation. Naturally, the legislation provides a few mechanisms to prevent this double taxation. It provides tax credits abroad in order to offset the tax here in Brazil. It allows for consolidation and everything else but they are much more restricted and not necessarily what the treaty would have provided. The treaty would have provided a type of deferment that the current legislation does not provide, and the treaty provides a type of vertical consolidation that the current Brazilian legislation does not provide. So here in Brazil, with this new legislation, in addition to not using the treaty, you tend to increase the controls. And this is a part of the cost here in Brazil, the cost of the internal controls of companies. So you end up possibly using less credits from abroad to offset credits here in Brazil, which may possibly lead to increased double taxation.